Yo, ha ha, Bill uh, Pepper uh, said. Hmm. <sighs> the accuracy is unreal. What is good, YouTube? Your boy, Bill Pepper said, coming back with another quick video. And today, Jordan 1 lost and fouls drop, or at least restocked, uh, and they did a Leo drop. But... There's some conflicting uh, issues here. So the first issue, I feel like Nike at some point, I don't think they're trolling. I think that they are literally trying to figure out who is leaking information so that people know about shock drops within cook groups. That could just be me because originally reported that the lost and founds would drop at some point um, before or after the Travis Scott release. And then it ended up being before. So of course it drops but when people were saying, oh, it's supposed to be X amount of pairs based off this photo, and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, like, this, this has got to be another trap. Now, some people were saying they were still having the payment issues. Some people were able to get through. Uh, and then, you know, all of a sudden, these 260,000 pairs may have dropped down to 20,000. So I kind of believe that because... You know, this drop didn't last that long. I think sizes were going or flying off the charts. Uh, but then, you know, <laughs> the, the the crazy part about this is that originally the time was supposed to be 11.40 a.m. Eastern was the, 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 the time. I think to myself, like, when did they ever drop a shoe at 11.40 Eastern? It just, you know, and then it ended up being 1.40 Eastern. So... Something, uh, uh, somebody's leaking some bad information because I saw plenty of YouTubers coming on, you know, and they're, they're giving information, but they're saying, okay, well, maybe Nike switched it up. Did they? Uh, I don't know. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, of course, I took the L. I knew that was going to happen, but am I pressed on it? Obviously not because I already have my pair. This is actually from the uh, the early release. Um, I got exclusive access for the uh, Jordan 1 Lost and Found, so I'm not really too sad about not doubling up, you know what I mean, if that makes sense. But you know, this is a dope shoe. Don't, don't get me wrong. But comment below. Let me know if you were able to get through and actually get a chance to purchase. Let me know if you actually cop. Because, again, this is interesting with what's going on, uh, and I feel like Hmm, Nike is using some tactical ways to get through. And of course, people are going to say, well, the box ate today. I'm not 100% sure about that. I just think that it wasn't as much stock as people originally thought. I think that this photo was was all cap. That's just my opinion. That could be a photo from some fake Nike warehouse <laughs> that's selling fakes. But that's probably not from you know the Nike warehouse. That could be from who knows you know what i mean so i felt like that was like cap a whole bunch of cap but your boy mill never said man ah, the trolling was crazy and it actually originally when it was supposed to drop in terms of the jordan one lost and founds around that time 11 40 people were like what what's going on like i don't i don't see it but lo and behold fortunately uh, people who, if you were looking at your phone, you saw like one of those J23 notifications or soul links or whatever it was that said shock drop, saw it, got through actually right away, got through right away. It's just, if size 13, I, I know what time it is when it comes to these sizes, they just, they fly off. This is a size 13, by the way, but your boy, Mona Vista, man, I am out. You guys stay blessed. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Milt Nipperson, and Firebox teaming up because we would like to give you guys 10% off any Firebox merchandise. All you have to do is click the link in the description below. Use code Millie Milt, and you're on your way. I am out. You guys, stay blessed.